If you wake up with a stiff back like I did in this video that I'm showing, this is a great warm-up lesson. But I want to give a word of caution if you have really bad back pain or your back is unstable or you are much heavier than I am, especially in your butt and your legs or have unstable SI joints or low back ligaments, I want you to consider using like a couch cushion with a tablecloth or a sheet or a pillowcase on top of it. And in the video, there's going to be a point where it says to use that for your knee to slide on top of. Because you're going to be lying on your side and if that pulls on your SI joint or your lumbar spine, that could throw your back out. And I don't want you to have that experience. So consider using either, uh, you could use a bunch of blankets that you fold and then put something that will make it slippery to slide your knee, okay? But I want you to be safe. And then from here on, you can skip forward to the beginning of the lesson, but I wanted to give this little preliminary safety tip before you start this lesson, because you might do this lesson often. It's a beautiful lesson to lengthen your spine. All right, so thank you, and I really appreciate all the patrons out there that are supporting my work. Check out my Patreon channel, and now let's get to the lesson. I've had a long day of hiking, and I woke up this morning, and I thought, what a great time to do another morning routine. So here's another one for you. This is really helpful for loosening your whole spine and the sacral area. So what you're going to do is we're going to work on your side, and I'll show on this side first. I'll be going back and forth so you can see. You're going to have one leg long. So one leg long, the other leg bent in front of you. Your hand behind you is going to touch your spine. So I'll show that on this side, just so you can see. So this leg long, this leg bent, and this hand is going to touch. We'll start with the low back here. Caution, if you are uncomfortable, please put a folded blanket under your knee here. And you're going to slide this top leg forward and just feeling, not pushing, but feeling your spine as you do that. And then as the the top leg slides back, you're going to reach with your elbow sliding. Now it's tricky to do this on the ground outdoors. It's easier to do this at home. But here I am, and I did this actually in the tent this morning, which was awesome. So this leg is at 90 degrees. My elbow is pulled back, and I'm not trying to stretch. I'm just going to rock forward with my knee and then lift the knee to come back with the elbow, and then move my finger up to touch the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, sliding, breathing. And I'm gonna go as high as I can up my back, one by one, and not trying to push, but just gently opening, rocking side to side. This leg below, you want is pretty straight, but not too tense. So try to reach through the heel of the bottom leg. And I'm kind of about at the highest range of my back I can go. You might go further. Reach with the elbow. Now slowly, be careful to go to the other side, especially if your back is a little sore. All right, now I'll show it on this side. Here we go, the sun is very strong right now. So knee here, straighten the bottom leg. My hand is gonna touch, I'll just show you like right at the base of my spine and then I'm gonna go vertebrae by vertebrae. So sliding the knee forward and then sliding my elbow, reaching back to touch. Next time I'm gonna to go to the next vertebrae. You can stay twice at each vertebrae if you like, just to make this a little more luxurious. 
but I'm anxious to get out on the trail and go exploring. So just going to go through this sliding the elbow while I'm touching the spine, moving my fingers up one vertebrae at a time and sliding my knee and try to slide versus pushing. So there's an ease to this movement and we're feeling the bones, the sense of my bones of my arms, the bones of this leg and reaching back. I have a nice flat spot in the ground. I'm lucky here. But in the tent, it was nice. I did this on my pad and it was really lovely. Okay, and then take your knee forward. So you could even do this on your bed, okay, in the morning and reach back with your elbow or just plop on the floor and do it and reach with your knee. Take a breath and I'm reaching out with my heel more and more as I get higher and higher and that lengthens my spine, okay? I'm trying to, in a way, this is a way of tractioning your entire spine and then roll your head as you reach with your elbow. So we're freeing up the, freeing up your cervical vertebrae. All right, and then very gently, we're coming back to your back, all right? And then you can hold your knees and just take one knee forward and the other knee forward. Kind of pull your shoulders, roll your head. It looks like walking kind of, except next time, let's roll your head the opposite way. So you're gonna roll this way toward the rising shoulder. All right, and then let's roll a little forward and back so that my knees are kind of pulling my shoulders. All right, and then you can either roll to the side or if you want, you can pull yourself up to sitting either way. And there you go, a very quick and easy warm up with gentle, gentle lengthening the spine. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Well, I'm almost at the peak here, and what a view! And uh, what a great clear day at Mount Rainier. <laughs>